If you're planning to take the ACT in July or the SAT in August, here are some tips to help you prepare. Know your schedule. The more detailed information you have about your summer vacations, the easier it will be to plan around them. So know the basics. When do you leave? How long will you be gone? What will your day-to-day -day look like? Will you have downtime for studying or practice? Once you know these facts, you can plan around them. Develop a routine. Like sleeping, writing, and exercising, studying is best done on a regular schedule. Outside of vacations, other activities such as internships, research opportunities, opportunities and part-time jobs will take up a considerable amount of your time. Plan out consistent study times a few times a week and stick to it. Be intentional. Planning to spend 30 minutes studying for the ACT is like spending 30 minutes trying to write a novel about the meaning of life. And trying to prepare for the test all at once can feel overwhelming. Give each study or review session specific goals. Vague. I'm going to study grammar. Specific. I'm going to study the differences between semicolons and colons and then complete practice problems involving them. As you finish up each study session, write down what you plan to improve next time and when you will do it. Reflect on what the study session was like. If, for instance, you did poorly because you didn't sleep well the night before, it may simply mean you need to go to bed early before your next session. Create conditions that optimize your studying. Enjoy your time off. This seems simple, but many students forget this step. Just as you plan your study sessions, plan fun activities to de-stress from all your summer responsibilities. Exercise, play sports, read books, watch movies, listen to podcasts, chat with friends. Something low stakes that gets your mind off of test prep so that when you return to it, you feel refreshed and energized. Good luck.